Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all's support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, Greg Renegato, Gato, also known as the big cat. My cool guys, bitch, pause up. If you're rocking with the Big Cat, today is draft day, and with the eight pick, we'll talk about it, but first, Teddy Bridgewater traded to the Denver Broncos for a six-piece nugget, half-smoked cigarette, and a used condom. <laughs> Final thoughts on Teddy Bridgewater, brief stay with the Panthers, we'll talk about it, but first, before we get started, do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe? Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? If you love the Carolina Panther like I love the Carolina Panther with the eight pick, you'll say, put your paws up. Teddy Bridgewater, final thoughts. Let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> ah! Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Real quick, y'all, it's draft day, y'all. I know you're excited, it's celebrated. Look, come watch the draft uh, uh, coverage with me tonight at eight o'clock all right make sure you subscribe you gotta hit the red button down there hit the red button hit the notification bell to always we're gonna have a party like we did last year we're gonna eat we're gonna laugh we're gonna cry hopefully not cry too much cry tears of joy <laughs> but join me tonight at eight o'clock we're having a live stream draft party all right uh shout out to all the sponsors in in, in the description if you want to um click on something down there go ahead and click on it and um yeah so let's let's go ahead and get into it y'all um Yesterday was a busy day. We were covering the Stephon Gilmore and, and potential Patriots trade back. And um, during that actual live stream, Teddy Bridgewater was traded. So I, I want to give you guys my perspective here. A lot of you guys have been jumping around like we just won the Super Bowl. A lot of you guys are just so happy and just, you know, I'm going to clown. Yes, I'm going to clown because that's, that's the shit I do. And Denver Broncos fans, if you're out there watching it, I'm going to show you what you're going to get here in a, in a few minutes. All right. <laughs> but um, ultimately, this is this is kind of it's kind of sad. Not sad because the nigga didn't work out. Well, yeah, I guess it is sad because the nigga didn't work out. Um, it's more so sad that again we find ourselves in um a a, um, a continuum. Uh, mediocrity or, or letdowns as a quarterback, uh, as a Panthers fan when it comes to the quarterback play. Um, as much solace and, and enjoyment you guys find in him being traded, it, when you really look at it, we're really the dumb ones. We're really the dumb ones because, you know, we continue to go through it. And, and, and at one point you believed. And if you say, I never believed in Teddy. I never believed in Teddy, then you're a clown too. Because as a true fan, you want to you want whoever's at your quarterback position to succeed. You know what I mean? I don't care if his name was Shithead McShithead. <laughs> I want Shithead McShithead to win, you know what I mean? So the fact that you know, we put all our faith in him, the ones that did, you know what I mean? And even if you didn't, you're like I said, you're a clown because you didn't believe in him, but the fact that he let us down. There's a lot of different dynamic to this. I mean, you got to understand it was a COVID year too. Um, it's, it's, it's weird, y'all, because at the end of the season, the owner, GM, everybody came out and said physical limitations or whatever, right? But you got to understand, these motherfuckers were the one that picked him. Matt Rule and David Tepper, and I think Herney had something to do with picking him. And again, it's not too many coaches that come into their first year and, and they get the opportunity to handpick their guy, and then they turn around and fire that guy a year later after they had a hand in picking that guy. So it, it almost concerns you with, with, with their judgment at times. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say it, it, was, it all falls on Matt Rule or it all fell on Tepper. But there is, you know, you would be um, remiss to think that they didn't have a hand in bringing Teddy to, to uh, Carolina. Um, all in all, 
Again, I wish I wish it would have worked out. I wish he would have performed. But ultimately, Teddy couldn't cut it. Um, you know, it just it's, it's, it's fucked up. I mean, again, I, I, we're going to find some funny, funny in it. We're going to laugh at it. But um, ultimately, nice guys don't finish first. They finish last. Um, Teddy, you know, just, I don't know. This could be a reward for Broncos fans. You know, you know, it just, this could work out for you guys if he comes in there and perform. But ultimately, Teddy has to be um, in a system where, how can I put it? He's not asked to do too much. Um, and I think in, in Carolina, they didn't ask him to do too much. I don't think Matt Rule asked him to do too much. But again, as my initial statement, I, I, I thought Teddy had a complex. I still do think Teddy has a complex. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I got to prove it to you. I, I, I can be the man. You know what I mean? At times, you you know, you know, you get that one nigga to do too much. And when it comes to him executing on the field, I think at times you've seen where he was trying to do too much, i.e. calling his own plays when he wasn't <laughs> advised to call his own plays, diving at the goal line when the coach told him never dive at the goal line. Um, it <laughs> Sitting on a, uh, 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 your, your d- division rivals bench, laughing and giggling and shit in the middle of a game. <laughs> You're doing too fucking much. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, you know, I hate it because I, I really want this cycle of mediocrity at the quarterback position to end. And I was hoping that he'd be the guy that, that end the circle. You know what I mean? So as much as we laugh... You guys should really be paying because the circle continues until, you know, until we find the right one. Here we are on, on, on draft day, and we got a quarterback we traded for, and now there's rumors talking about we're still not satisfied. I mean, we're literally just <laughs> – when it comes to the quarterback position, we're just like the fucking – we're the John. You know what a John is? A John is that nigga that go cruising at four in the morning with two dollars hanging out the window. And then he'll be back next day with another two dollars. <laughs> He's never satisfied. He's always looking for the next trick. You know what I mean? So are we are we are we now the the, the, the Johns of the NFL? Where every year we're gonna be looking for the next trick to, the 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 turn or what? I don't know, man. But ultimately Teddy, man, is the guy who uh I guess you could say with a like a likable personality. Uh, when it came to his play on the field, mediocre, mediocre at best, mediocre at best. Um, I think there's potential in there again if he would play within himself. Um, you know, what can I say, man? Eight eight drives, eight drives. When it came to the clutch, I mean his defense, his coaching staff. You know. They put him in position to, to be the hero. They put him in the position eight times to be the hero at the end of games. And all eight times he came up with a goose egg. So, ultimately, man, you can blame who you want to blame. But, you know, you know how it works, man. When you lose, the quarterback gets the blame. And when you win, you know, the quarterback gets the praise. So, hopefully Teddy goes up here and, you know, maybe bring you Broncos fans some kind of. I don't know what he's going to bring you. Say some gloves or some shit. Ultimately, if you guys want to know what you're getting out of Teddy Bridgewater, I put together a little clip. Don't take my word for it. Take Coach Matt Rule's word for it. Roll that fucking tape. Um, and uh, obviously that play, you know, I, I did not want to play run before the two minute. And uh, just um, unfortunately, we ran one right before the two minute that resulted in um, you know, that wasn't, you know, wasn't what we wanted. So I have to get that corrected. Matt, why did you run that play before the two-minute warning? In the, the fourth and eight play, you know, we had Robbie down the field. So uh, we expect that ball to be thrown past the sticks. I haven't talked to Teddy yet. I don't know why that ball went there. Maybe no, he's thinking. the ball across the goal line until fourth down. You know, it's just kind of a principle. We don't do it. Um, um, you know, we never do it. Yep. That's it. That's what you're getting. Hard-headed ass nigga. <laughs> Disobedient ass motherfucker. <laughs> Doing too much ass nigga. But he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. 
Good guy to take pictures with her. Give you a good smile. You show your teeth, nigga. I, you show your teeth, nigga. I, you show your teeth, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, man, back to the drawing board. Hopefully, we can get it right tonight, man. Um, you know, old Teddy, man. Damn. And the circle continue. And I'll, I'll leave you like this, Panthers fans. When it comes to the quarterback uh, position, y'all. And the beat goes on. One of my favorite songs by The Whisper. Hopefully, we can get this shit get, uh, right eventually, man. Bittersweet day um, in terms of us, uh, you know, I guess, you know, ending the cycle of mediocrity. But um, we, we, we didn't we didn't get fair value for. Well, we did, shit. We, we got overcompensated. I'm going to be honest with you. Six round was way too much. But really, nobody wins in, in, in this. Uh, we don't win in this trade. y'all. You know, you sign this nigga to a three year deal, 63 million. And then all you get is a six-round pick. You know what I mean? This is the kind of shit I'm talking about when you look at some of the some of the cycles that's still being not being broken. This is shit we dealt with, like with um, with uh, what was it, Herney? The first go around, signing motherfuckers to stupid contracts, <laughs> stupid contracts and shit. And now in this coaching regime, we signed this motherfucker stupid contracts and coming out and. We believed in him and all this shit. Now he's gone. The future for the Panthers scares me, not because of the players or the talent, but because the motherfuckers in the office. Message. You just got to trust that, you know, they wake up on the right side of the bed and then do the right shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's sad, man. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you got motherfuckers behind closed door making stupid decision, you just got a bunch of talented individuals. Message. So, I don't know. So long, Teddy. And um, hello, NFL Draft. I'm your host, Agrinda Gato. Also known as the Big Cat. Cool, grab the paws up. If you rock with the Big Cat, how do you feel about Teddy? Is this kind of bittersweet? And when I mean bittersweet, y'all, I don't mean bittersweet in the sense of I'm sad about this nigga being traded. I'm sad that we're still dealing with the circle of bullshit, you know, if that makes sense. Make sure you guys tune in tonight at 8 p.m. Oh, 745. We'll go live 745. Get ready for the draft. Live reaction. Bring you some food, man. Get you some drink. Get you smoke. Let's have a good time tonight. And um, make sure you subscribe, all right? And join the Patreon, man, if you want to do morning shows. We're going to do morning shows starting at the beginning of next month. We will have morning shows and shit. So um, keep pounding TV on Patreon. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say Paul's up. Carolina on top forever. Um, and uh, obviously that play, you know, I, I did not want to play run before the two minute. And uh, just um, unfortunately we ran one right before the two minute that resulted in um, you know, that wasn't, you know, wasn't what we wanted. So I have to get that corrected. Matt, why did you run that play before the two minute warning? The, the fourth and eight play, you know, we had Robbie down the field. So uh, we expect that ball to be thrown past the sticks. I haven't talked to Teddy yet. I don't know why that ball went there. Maybe you know, he's the ball across the goal line until fourth down. You know, it's, just kind of a principle. We don't do it. Um, um, you know, we never do it. I'd like to take the time to thank the Keep Pounding Underscore TV Patreon membership sponsors below. It is because of your contribution we are able to create quality content. Please consider joining the channel. The link will be in the description. Don't miss out on your chance for watching morning live streams, film study, and much more. Ryan Wright, The Introduction, new EP available on all major streaming platforms, including the hot new feature, In My Bag. Quit renting energy and dealing with increasing rates. Get paid to go solar through federal and local tax credits. Own your energy. Add home equity. Fixed rates that will never go up. No money down. A vote of power, now serving all of North and South Carolina. Tell them you've seen this ad on Key Pound and TV. They'll give you one year free, no payments. Be sure to contact the affiliate rep, Kevin Browns, at kbrown at avolta.us. His contact will be in the description. SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, 
so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Ladies, be sure to check out Tori Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Shoshana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Shoshana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip-hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up. You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.